Hi guys, uh, Trevor Sullivan, a Microsoft MVP and Docker Captain here. I wanted to, to give you a really quick kind of preview look at this new module that I've created called PS Putty. Now the idea behind PS Putty is to make it easier to interact with Putty sessions. So for example, when you bring up Putty, in the middle you have pre-saved sessions. As you can see, I've got a couple here. Now what's really cool about Putty is that you can actually customize the text colors that appear inside of your terminal session. Now, what happens if you want to change those colors rapidly? Well, you can go ahead and just, you know, change them here in the user interface, but if you're a little bit more user savvy, you can go into the registry and actually modify the registry settings. Now, unfortunately, importing different settings into the registry can be somewhat of an onerous process. You know, you have to download a reg registry file, change the values in there, uh, change the path to your saved session name, and, you know, save the file, and then close it, and then double click it, and then hit yes like three times in order to get past the UAC prompt and everything else. And then finally, you can actually import the registry file. Um, but that, that's kind of more of a manual process, even though it is a little bit easier. Um, so what I did is I created this module called PS Putty. And so if you go out to the PowerShell gallery using PowerShell version 5, uh, just do find module, uh, name, PS Putty. And you should see that there's version 0.1.1 available, and then you can just do an install module command to actually grab it. So if you do install module-scope current user to install it to your user directory, and then do PS Putty-force, that will go ahead and install the module. But I don't want to do that now because I'm actually developing inside that directory and I don't want to mess things up. But what I'm going to do is, because I already have it uh, installed or uh, copied locally, uh, what I can do is come into get command and then say, show me all the commands for the PS Putty module. And you're going to see a few different commands here. Now, not all of them work just yet. As I mentioned, this is a very early preview look at things. But a couple of the first things that I really wanted to get working were uh, get PS Putty theme. And so this is actually going to list out all the supported themes that are available inside the module. And you can actually view those JSON files inside the module directory. And then we've also got a get PS Putty session command. Now, you don't really need to use these commands directly. These are more designed to provide the ability to provide IntelliSense to uh, the other PowerShell commands inside this module. So there's really two key commands that I want you to focus on. First, we have invoke PS Putty session which allows you to kick off a putty session by name. And then second, we have a merge PS putty theme that allows you to actually update your theme for a particular pre-saved session using one of the supported themes in the module. So let's take a look at invoke PS putty session. And if you hit dash name, we'll just hit enter to do IntelliSense there. And then if you put a space after it, you'll actually see that you get auto completion or IntelliSense for your PS putty or your putty session names, right? So you don't actually have to type out the full session name. You can just uh, hit control space uh, and hit enter and that will auto complete it for you. When you hit enter, it'll go ahead and just kick off the putty session and you don't have to do anything else, right? Now, we also have the merge PS Putty theme command. And what this allows us to do is to basically update our Putty session with one of these themes. So as you might have noticed from this uh, earlier command here, I'm just using the standard uh, black and white color scheme here, right? And so what if we wanted to change that to something like this, uh, let's say... I see green people, right? So what we can do is say merge PS putty theme, and we'll just tab complete that. Hit the dash for your first parameter, which is your session name. So what is the session name I want to update? So I'll update my Azure session. Just hit enter to complete that. Theme name, and then we'll just choose I see and hit enter to complete that. And now we've changed it. So we hit it the up arrow a couple times and hit enter. And as you can now see, we've actually successfully updated our uh, theme here. So we can just go ahead and log in, and sure enough, we've, we've got these new colors. And so now, if we want to change the theme again, we can just do merge PS Putty theme, hit control space to do auto completion. We'll change over to Arcane Sanctum, which is a really nice one. And then we'll just hit up arrow a couple times and re-invoke the session. As you can see, we have successfully updated our colors here and relaunched the session very, very easily. So that's just a brief preview look at the PS Putty PowerShell module. Feel free to keep up with development on github.com slash pcgeek86 slash psputty. Thanks.